Hi everyone, I have a quick tutorial for you today. I wanted to show you how to back up your Windows 10 operating system, your C drive, all its program files and all the settings involved with uh, any programs that you have installed on your computer. It's very straightforward to do with the tools built into Windows 10. You'll start by clicking your search and from there entering in backup. We'll go into backup settings. Now here, under the backup, we have an av availability of more options. We're going to click this. And then we're going to look on the left pane for C Advanced Settings. Now once we've clicked that, we're going to want to create a system image backup. You'll see that at the bottom left. Click that. And Finally, we're going to look at create a system image. Again, this is your full C drive, all the programs that you've installed and all the settings associated with those programs. In the event you have a system failure, you'll be able to use one of these images to give a complete restore of your computer and all its settings, all its programs, and it'd be a big time saver and a big help. So let's click create system image. And here we're presented with where do we want to save the backup to, meaning the image that we create, where do we want to keep it so that in the event in the future we need to use it, we'll be able to. And you've got a list of all the hard drives installed on your system. I'm going to save it to my iDrive, which is a 250 gig SSD drive. You have an option to save it to DVD or on a network as well. Click Next. Here it's going to show you which drives you want to include in the backup. Now, on a Windows 10 installation, you have an EFI system partition, which is part of this backup. It automatically selects that, and you can see that it's indicated by the check, and it's dimmed. Also, you have the uh, actual C drive, where all your information and data is stored, all of your programs. And then you have a uh, recovery partition as well. We're going to leave all of those checked, and we're going to click Next. Again, it's going to verify where we're wanting to save it. And at this point, we'll start to back up. This will take a little bit of time, um, probably 15 minutes. I'm backing up a 250 gig hard drive, which is an SSD, to another SSD. So it's faster than a, a, one of your older spinning platter hard drives, but it can still take about 15 minutes. So I'll let this run. I'll speed it up. And when it's done, we'll proceed from there. All right, so now we're finished. The backup's completed, and uh, this asks if we wanted to create a system repair disk. I'm not going to do that because if I need to make this restoration, I can simply use the USB thumb drive where I have the uh, Windows 10 installer uh, installed to. So we'll enter no, and the backup's completed successfully. Now, earlier we picked where we wanted to store it, and it is stored it in this location where we picked. It creates this directory structure called Windows Image Backup. And within this is all the information that contains the image recovery restoration partitions for the C drive that we had selected earlier. Every time it creates a backup, it creates this structure. Now we can create multiple backups, but if we do create another backup, it will always recreate it and overwrite what's in here. So we need to create a new directory, put this in it, and give it a name and date that makes sense to us in the future if we want to do a restoration from an earlier time. But in any case, we can take this data that it's written as an image and mount it through our disk manager. To access that, you'll select this PC, right click it, and choose Manage. And then from there, we're going to go to Disk Management. Now this is going to show all the hard drives and all the partitions on our computer. But we want to mount that image that we just created. So go up under Action, click Attach VHD Virtual Hard Drive, and from here we're going to browse to that location where we saved our backup to, which was our iDrive. We're going to look in this folder, and we're going to look for a backup 
directory. Go in here, and now we've got all of the three partitions that were selected based on that backup um, criteria we had made. Typically, the largest file that you see in here is going to be representative of your C drive and all of its program files. So this is clearly our largest. We're going to select that, enter open, and then we're going to say OK. Click OK. And it's mounted that virtual hard drive image, and you see that it has a light blue indication showing that. Now, what we need to do to be able to access it in Windows Explorer is give it a drive letter. You can see that all these others have drive letters with the exception of the one we just mounted. So select it, right click it, and tell it to change drive letter and paths. Here we can add a drive letter to it. I'm going to go with the default J, enter OK. And you see now that it's assigned the letter J to that drive. So if I go to my Windows Explorer under this PC, you see now that we have a duplicate of our C drive that is now mounted from that virtual hard drive image we created. And if we go into it, you'll see that we've got access to all of our program files, just identical to what's on our C drive if we were going to our program files there. So it's a good way by creating these drive images that are going to allow you to access your data in two ways, by booting from a thumb drive and doing a complete restore from that image to your hard drive that you would backed up in the event you had a catastrophic failure or you wanted to upgrade your hard drive or for some reason just your hard drive failed. And also be able to mount that virtual hard drive image to access individual files or photos or anything of that nature. So I'll go ahead and uh, end this video and then I'm going to show you how to restore that drive image to your hard drive from outside of Windows booting through a th USB thumb drive which has the Windows 10 installer installed on it. Alright, look forward to seeing you in the next video.